Hi guys, so here they're asking us to multiply the radicals. Um, so this is a square root of 8 times negative 3 times square root of 2. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, negative 3 times. So we combine, we're going to multiply, we're going to combine terms that are underneath a radical, right? So 8 times 2 is 16, okay? And then negative 3, uh, what, is the square root of, what is the square root of 16? 4, right? So this is going to be negative 3 times 4, and that gives us negative 12. Okay. How about square root of 3 times negative square root of 2? Okay. Again, uh, we're going to multiply, we're going to combine terms that are um, underneath the radical, right? Underneath the same degree of radical. Uh, they're both underneath the square root, so we can multiply them together. We can multiply the values and just keep them under the root. So this is going to be negative square root of 6. Okay. How about 5 square root of 10 times negative 7 times the square root of 12. Okay, again, um, we're going to we're gonna combine the coefficients together, and then we're going to combine the radicals together, okay? Uh, 5 times negative 7 is negative 35, okay? 10 times 12 is 120. Can we break down the 120? I think we can. Um, the 120 can be broken down into, how about uh, 4 times 30, right? 4 times 30 gives you 120. Uh, what's the square root of 4? Square root of 4 is 2, so we can take out square root of 4, make it 2. So this is going to be negative 35 times 2 times the square root of 30. Okay. Now square root of 35, or no, not. Negative 35. Negative 35 times 2 is going to be negative 70 times the square root of 30. And I don't think you can simplify it any more than that. Um, yeah. I don't think, I, I think 30 is, a prime num uh, 30 is a prime number, so you really can't. Well, it's not a prime number, but you can't—you really can't break it down any more than that. And that is our final answer.